Isaac Newton was a pretty cool guy. Newton is known for the discovery of the three laws of motion. These three laws relate to motion and mechanics and discuss the physical properties of motion that we can observe. They are fundamental building blocks for the exploration of kinematics. I wanted to see how these laws of motion relate to one of my passions, volleyball. Let's check it out. Newton's first law. Newton's first law states that every object will remain at rest or in motion unless acted upon by an external force. However, scientists have a fancy name for this. Inertia. Let's see how this relates to volleyball. You see the ball is resting on the floor. There are no unbalanced forces acting upon the ball, so it stays still. Now the ball is rolling. Though an external force puts the ball into motion, once it's in motion, no unbalanced force is stopping the ball. Therefore, it remains in motion until an external force, like my foot, stops it. Newton's second law. Newton's second law states that the force of an object is equal to its mass times its acceleration. Say I hit a volleyball and a basketball with an equal magnitude of force. Which object will travel fastest? Let's look at this problem mathematically. Newton's second law states that force is equal to mass times acceleration. Acceleration is equal to the change in velocity divided by our change in time. If we plug in our equation for acceleration into the A value of Newton's second law, we get the force is equal to mass times change in velocity over change in time. Because we are trying to see which ball will travel faster, we want to isolate our velocity to the other side of the equation. This makes our new equation, change in velocity is equal to force times change in time over mass. If we have a smaller mass, such as the volleyball, it will make our change in velocity a bigger number. If we make our mass a bigger number, it will make our change in velocity smaller. That is because these values are inversely related. An object with a smaller mass requires less force to accelerate, and an object with a greater mass takes more force to accelerate. Therefore, with our force and time remaining constant, our volleyball will travel faster because it has a lighter mass. Newton's third law. Newton's third law states that every action has an equal and opposite reaction. Watch what happens when a volleyball player jumps up to hit the ball. As I push my feet into the ground, the ground pushes back up onto me with an equal magnitude of force, causing me to jump. You may be asking yourself, if the forces are equal, why doesn't the floor move? If we compare the masses of our two objects, we can see that the mass of the Earth is 5.972 times 10 to the 24th kilograms, and the mass of the player is about 56 kilograms. This means our mass is virtually insignificant in comparison to the Earth. We deducted from Newton's second law that objects of a smaller mass are easier to accelerate, and that's why, when in opposition with the Earth, we're able to accelerate up. The sources used in this video will be linked down in the description below. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you learned something about Newton's three laws. I know I certainly did.